Hi everyone. I'm going to walk you through funnel analysis by MoEngage. So the funnel module of MoEngage Analytics uh, helps you to understand user behavior for uh, different platforms. And also it gives you an insight on how your users interact with your uh, application through various stages of the customer journey. It's equally important for marketers, for campaign analytics, and also for product managers for product analysis. And it helps you to define how your users are coming to your product, interacting with the various stages of the customer journey, and at the end, uh, achieving the conversion event. Similarly, uh, it also helps you to understand the effectiveness of the campaign and what exactly is the conversion with respect to the campaign look like. Uh, let's look at the funnel analysis and we will get started with a very simple two-step funnel where we'll be seeing uh, how many users are actually opening the application and following to, uh, you know, order successful. We offer multiple different types of funnel analysis. Uh, we will be trying to see from the first analysis type that is the funnel for unique users. So this will give you uh, a detail around what is the number of users who are opening the uh, application and who are the users uh, converting. So we can see that the total number of app opens are 33,169. Out of those, I am trying to see here is the conversion as 27.62%. That goes around 9,161 users. And also a drop off of 24,008 users. Similarly, this particular uh, conversion could be analyzed by the uh, line chart as well. If you are looking to see how exactly the conversion on a daily basis look like, you'll be able to see that as well. And uh, you can just check the granularity based on the daily, weekly, monthly level, uh, and also like in into the absolute mode or the percentage mode. Now, looking at the funnel analysis, a very important part that is offered in MoEngage is actionable analytics, whether you want to deep dive into the converted user or maybe the dropped off user. You can save these users as a segment and you can also create a specific campaign for these users and maybe reach out to them. So let's say that I am trying to see users who have not converted and I'm trying to send them a one-time push campaigns with some specific users, uh, specific offers uh, for them to uh, convert. And maybe this will give my users one more chance to avail that personalized offers for them and getting converted. Now let's look at the other funnel options. We have also, uh, the other funnel option called funnel all occurrences. So funnel all occurrences is one of the favorite analysis for the marketers and also the product managers, because it helps you to analyze each and every instances of the interactions by your users on your platform. And it tells you that how many times actually users came to your uh, open the application each and every time this will give you a total count of those. And also it, it gives you like how many times they got converted and how many times they got uh, or they dropped off from the uh, funnel. Similar to this, uh, let's talk about even more details around it. Now let's build a different funnel, whether I'm trying to analyze, let's say the users who have uh, received the notification uh, on Android about some promotional offer, or maybe I can club it, club it with the users who have received a notification uh, on iOS as well. After that, the second uh, event could be users making, opening the application and maybe the conversion event that I'm trying to take here uh, could be order uh, successful. Now, let's say that I can also exclude some of the specific events from funnel. Now, let's say that there, there have been some of the specific uh, uh, promotional uh, campaigns that have been run already. So I can uh, maybe select those uh, specific event and I can uh, exclude those from any specific step from funnels. Okay. And I can, sim similar to the behavior, uh, I can also uh, filter these users based on the user property, behavior, affinity, or I can do this particular analysis for any specific custom segment as well. Right. So now let's say that I'm trying to see this analysis for all the users. And I'm trying to see what exactly has been the conversion look like for the users who have been opening my uh, receiving the notification and following it uh, to opening the application and maybe uh, uh, 
being converted at the end. So if you see the conversion of this whole uh, funnel looks to be 8.45%. Uh, now, uh, there are multiple options into funnel analysis, whether uh, you can also see a whole uh, time to convert of for these users, like how much time these users are actually taking to convert and what has been the conver uh, you know conversion distribution look like. And it will tell you that what at all uh, for the specific uh, funnel steps, what exactly has been the conversion time for my 10 percentile of users and what has been the conversion time for my 50 percentile of user and similarly what has been the conversion percentile for my 90th or 99th percentile of user and this this also helps you to uh, optimize your conversion time by creation of uh, different levels of campaigns for these specific users you can also uh, you know use the options of funnel split whether for any specific event uh, step or all e steps or up to any specific step you can split your funnel analysis based on the event attributes right or event time attributes so let's say that i'm trying to split this whole analysis for campaign uh, uh, ids or maybe the app versions and i can also hold any specific attribute into all steps or maybe until uh, you know uh, any specific step as well whether uh, these attributes could be uh, all my event attributes event time or acquisition attribute as well apart from this uh, you can also select or customize your funnel window so funnel window is something that determines that to complete these uh, selected funnel steps right how much uh, in how much time all these three steps have been completed uh, so let's say that here my funnel window is one day. So that means that the step one, two, and three have taken, uh, you know, um, should be between uh, equal to or less than one day. Or maybe I can uh, probably increase it to hour, uh, or decrease it to hours or minutes as well. So if you see, there are uh, multiple e-commerce websites who want to see the effectiveness of their promotional offers or the checkout process. So they are trying to drill down these funnel windows to uh, one minute or two minutes or three minutes, and they want to see how quickly their users are trying to make these decisions. Similarly, you can also uh, use the normal funnel or a strict order funnel. So let's say that the normal funnel will provide you the number of users who have performed the steps in the funnel in the provided sequence. So maybe let's say that uh, your funnel steps are A, B, and C and will count users who have performed either A, B, C together, or maybe A, C, B, and again C. Since uh, in, the, in the four steps the users have been performing, uh, the funnel is counting all the three steps, step A and B and C. So it will be counting uh, uh, these user interactions into the funnel. But when you are changing your uh, order into strict, this means this uh, funnel will provide the number of users who have performed all the steps in the funnel in the provided order without performing any of the steps out of the order so maybe let's say that um, you have abc as an event uh, sequence right and if your user have performed a c b and again c then the user is actually breaking the funnel sequence so in that particular case he won't or she won't be added into the uh, funnel uh, order when the order is strict but if the user have been performing any of the other step apart from the selected events so let's say that my user have uh, my steps are a b and c and my user has performed a then user have performed the step called x and then user is performing b and again c since the user is performing uh, an event which is out of my selected events then in that particular case the funnel uh, strict order will be counting all the steps as uh, uh, into funnel and it will be giving you uh, the results. Similarly, uh, since we are looking at the time to convert, you can also check the time uh, that has been, the user has been taking from uh, step one to two, or maybe you user is taking between step two to three. You can check the times between any of the steps. You can also get, uh, automatic distribution as well 
and also you can create your own custom distribution with an interval so that you want to see that how uh, within these intervals how exactly have my users uh, converting and how much time within these specified interval uh, how much how many users have been converted among these specified interval times now looking at the other uh, funnel types we also have time to uh, frequency of uh, of funnel and this is this analysis is also performed for both uh, unique users and all occurrences so this event frequency will provide you the distribution of number of times each occurrence or an event has been performed before the next step so let's say that uh, I'm trying to see the frequency type for all occurrences. That is uh, going to give me even more detailed count. And here what I'll be seeing is the distribution of the event that uh, that needs to be, uh, you know, occurred before its uh, next event. And here, uh, if you see, I have the event frequency of uh, one percentile as one. And until like uh, 86 percentile, it is one but by 87 percentile i'm seeing an increment into it it is happening twice and similarly i'm seeing on 99 percentile it is happening uh, three times and also on 100 percentile this has been happening 26 times so this gives marketeers an insight about to understand that actually how many times user is trying to do the previous events and so that they can make a decision in terms of uh getting converted or maybe going ahead and performing to the next event so this will also be uh, as as a marketer or as a product manager this will give you an insight uh, to understand the users uh, I, I can say a behavioral pattern that uh, what exactly is triggering my users in terms of making a decision and at what time or after how many occurrences my user is uh, performing the goal event or the conversion event. So these are the different types of analysis that are offered in uh, Moengage. And all these analysis of funnels, uh, unique users and all occurrences gives you uh, how exactly your conversion pattern and conversion uh, and the drop of pattern look like. And also time to convert and uh, gives you the details of how, exa how much exactly time your users are taking in terms of uh, converting and also frequency it gives you the details of uh, the users who who are completing uh, um, you know the conversion event and how many times uh, they have to uh, perform the previous events uh, and after that how much time it uh, like how many times it takes those users to perform the previous events to decide or perform the end event and uh, these are the all types of analysis offered uh, in funnels and this actually helps you to measure your effectiveness of your um, process and campaigns and uh, also analyze how exactly your onboarding flow look like and how many users are actually following the whole onboarding flow and converting at the end thank you